game day. It's go time. Justin? You ready? Hit the door, baby. We're gonna try and hydro foil a uh, table. Big day today. Big day today. Large day today. <laughs> We're getting started a little bit later than we thought, uh, but yeah, long-awaited giveaway. It's, it's it's go time. It's we haven't done one in like this is like the longest we've months? gone without doing one because yeah, this, this is. I think this is gonna be special. Yeah. Justin, you ready? Hit the door, baby. Well, what do you guys think? We're giving away CJ's baby. Wait, the garage princess. We can't give this thing away. We just gave it to him. We can't give this thing away. What? No. We just gave it to him. We're doing right. Could it be? We gotta do a four-wheeler, man. No, actually, no. We're not doing a four-wheeler. F*** that. Wait, and it's... We, holy crap. This thing's class. I'm, Hey, did, did we just do it for real last year too? Wait. We're giving away the Maverick! We told Jason to do a little burn up, but we're giving away the Maverick! Everybody's cars. I'm so sorry. So you know yeah. what happens when you tell Jake to go hard? Yeah. He goes hard. Yeah, we told him to go hard. That's he what happened. He goes so hard. Anyway, we're giving away the Maverick. What? Oh, jeez, oh Jake. You were kidding when you said you were gonna go hard. This is how we're. This is how we're never gonna forget. <laughs> yeah, that we gave away the Maverick and all the dents on the back of our cars. You dick. <laughs> that was amazing. That was that was honestly incredible, Jake. Kind of a dick move, but truly incredible. Entry, no, but we're not kidding. We are giving away the Maverick, and uh, this is real. Every yeah. $5 spent at cboystv.com gets you one entry. It gets There's better. More. There's more, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. Not only do you get to buy all this uh, sweet Seaboy stuff, the Mustang, the Crowd Plow, which is at cboystv.com, but uh, we just dropped a brand new website called Wide Open Parts, and we're selling all of 509 gear. So if you don't want to get Seaboy's gear, it's fine, you can get 509 gear and still get entered to win the giveaway. Buy a helmet, Maverick. 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 Boom. Buy goggles. Also, Maverick. It gets better. If you don't want to get any of that, you can buy Erase Products from EraseProducts.com, which is also one of our companies, and you get cleaning products to and clean all your toys, and you, 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 you still get the Maverick. Maverick! So Wide Open Parts is kind of our baby, and we're going to be continuing to add parts and brands that we align with, and we're going to continue to giveaways with those. So if you want to get stuff from there and win this Maverick, then go and do that. And then on top of that, which we didn't, which slightly announced, this is all new merch. We just did a fresh new line. Micah yep. designed them all. And uh, so we got a bunch of new designs. Phone cases. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Clean. So yeah. sick. Clean. So look at that. Swim trunks. Swim trunks. Oh, oh, swim oh look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Good thing I did squats this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you can go check that out. We got some new merch. If you guys already have it all, go and get some more. $5 spent on any of the websites gets you one entry to win this Maverick. So. And the next <laughs> time you all ask, where's banging? He'll be cleaning up the mark. <laughs> yeah, I got some work to do in there. <laughs> Man, nice shirts. Thanks, see boys. Fresh. TV.com. Wow. Merch. Yeah. Go to the site and get the non wrinkled version or the wrinkled version. Yeah. If you, just, if you personally, I'll just spit all over the camera. If you personally message me, I'll get you this wrinkled ass t shirt for free. <laughs> this right here. This big hunk of wood. It's not wood, bro. 
fiberglass. What is it? Carbon fiber? I don't, I don't know. know if it is carbon fiber though. I'm sure this is, but I don't even know. But anyways, this is a hydro surfboard. And it looks like this. There you go. And before you put in the comments, no, we don't know how to ride it without waves. Because I'm sure you've seen that. I, don't think I was looking at a video, the hydrofoils that you can ride without waves have fins like this big, and ours Anyways, are about this big. Honestly, the best way to explain it is just to watch someone ride it. Yeah. But it's let's just add it's extremely hard to ride. Like you could be the master of surfing, but with this you're just relearning all over again. Yeah. So let's just get into it. CJ said the best way to explain it is to just watch, which is true, but it really doesn't explain anything. As soon as I see someone do it, I have more questions. <laughs> so comfortable out there and something goes haywire and you're just like Whoa. he crazy. made it look really yeah, easy but did. it is so much harder than that like he's just like oh yeah it's he good up and down roll. it's impossible i wouldn't say impossible it's very difficult we got surfer boy mark mark uh, <laughs> boy mark <laughs> surfer boy mike getting in the water Freaking mark. i don't even know my own best friend's name i was your best friend <laughs> oh shit You're feeling all good. It's like a sunny day, and then you're like, it looks like it's gonna rain. That's getting the speed wobbles, and then when the rain hits, that's dying. You know, I wasn't that nervous to try it out, and then like Mike is like, yeah, it's just like dying. Yeah, Same just... thing. Fun and as difficult as that was, uh, in Seaboy's fashion, we're going to make it even more difficult. And by doing that, we're going to literally just tape a table onto the top of the surfboard. <laughs> no, we're gonna ratchet strap it. Are we? Yeah, oh, we, we have, have ratchet, ratchet straps yeah, too. Yeah. Okay, I guess we have ratchet straps too. And that's about as far in depth as our thought process went on it. I was so down, yeah, I was we're gonna Ryan. try and hydro foil a table. I was telling Ryan, this seems like, you know, there's some things that are easier on paper. This doesn't even look easier on paper. No, no, see, we should probably start out with surfing the table first because, uh, because that would probably make the most sense to even make sure that we can do that. Yeah. But that's, that's already been done. And I don't think anybody's ever hydrofoiled so a table, but we're looking for a first. Ryan's thinking about this more in depth. So he's putting a uh, life jacket on the table. So we don't lose our brand new hydrofoil that we just bought, because that would be sad girl hours. Oh, dude, we, no, let's go with the with the uh, legs up. You think that the table's going to sink the surfboard? I mean, yeah. it definitely could if it filled up with water. Oh, yeah. right, right. I was gonna say, I, I think you guys weigh more on the table. I <laughs> the legs up thing, and when you fall, you kind of go like this. Yeah, you and then the legs are up and you go like but hey that's what it's all about yeah. spicing it up yeah you know like if we impale ourselves on video at least you know we got it you know on the internet so do you think <laughs> having it this way or the other way oh uh, it still might work this way it might be like cleaner have being on the top side it's going to look better but also it might be hard to stay on. See, when I said yeah, I that we haven't put much thought into this, you are literally watching us put the <laughs> thought into it right now. Like there has been about this much thought put into it. Yeah, explain what you're doing here, Ryan, very quick. Okay, I'm gonna take these ratchet straps, put it around this, and hopefully it stays forever and doesn't sink. Forever. Plain and simple, I guess. Just ratchet strap the table down to the surfboard. So, oh yeah, you know, it's just your classic ratchet strap a surfboard to a table job. Ben's got a few. The red one, the yellow one, and the yellow one. We're gonna go to the roadhouse, but yeah. I didn't 
think it was going to take no, 12 hours to just balance. set this thing up. This is why it's Sea Girls TV and Sea Girls TV. Yeah. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> Welcome back to Sea Girls TV. Uh, today we're hungry. <laughs> we're not posting a video because we're hungry today. <laughs> you guys didn't give us enough views last time, so we're gonna give you the silent treatment and not post anymore. <laughs> I don't, don't think it's gonna work. I'm <laughs> sorry. How oh. oh, is that gonna dream. get up? My dream. What? I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes of them literally thinking out loud, like, <laughs> and it, we're still here. What? Not very smart. Look, okay. you see the progress we've made? Look at it. They put up. All this up. negativity and no visualization of the possibilities that we're doing. You literally just bought this thing. Like, it's gonna get ruined. <laughs> So Greta calls me earlier and asked what we were doing. So I told her we were getting, gonna tape a table to the hydrofoil, and she said, "So that's dangerous." I said, "How? How is that dangerous?" I said, "Ten. Where's the think about it." Place? You guys were just talking about getting impaled. Like, impaled? Yeah, but we're not doing that. That's yeah, but dangerous. We're, we're not, not gonna get that. impaled. We just put duct tape on it. It's fine. Duct tape Wait, what's dangerous? Let me hear your side on why this is dangerous, Greg, because I don't understand that. First of all, I don't think that's going to float. Second of all, it's huge. They could wipe out off of it really easily. <laughs> Greta's being the voice of reason since Ken's gone. You guys need to put, like, well, wouldn't you be able to wipe out on a normal surfboard, though, Greg? <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't look... Uh, there's like, like Your feet are going to slip right off of it. It's like standing on a wet floor. You guys ready? Okay, one you line. Did, you did two... Two lines of duct tape? Oh, bad. That was it? it? Well, we got other tape. We got other tape. Yeah, okay. just send it. We're oh, good. No, no. Packaging yeah. tape. Packing tape? No. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine, you guys. Right, this is go, strong you tape. Got it. Get in there. Oh. Well, I'm going? Yeah, you yeah. going? Yeah. I thought Micah was going. You said it was I think Micah's little legs are out of there. Okay, fair enough. Like, I, guess I'm going. I thought his name was Mark. <laughs> people people ask why like the girlfriends aren't around for more videos. They're sitting here and Ben's like gonna serve a like this is probably the least dangerous thing he's done in the past like three months, I think. Okay. Everyone just goes, nah. Yeah, like, <laughs> how did this tape stay on you the whole time? Dude, I got tape on me? Yeah. <laughs> no Joke's on you, duct tape sponsored this video. <laughs> Greta and Megan and I are sitting there. All right, Ryan, see what you're doing wrong here. Is we're all, all right, so uh, just pulled the hydro foil off oh, of no the more. table, and now Mike's just gonna try surfing it by himself. So this is a segment that I like to call Dumb Stuff in the Dark with Jake, Micah, and Ryan. <laughs> Dumb Stuff in the Dark, baby! <laughs> so we set up some lights, we got a dirt bike, and what are you gonna do? A burnout. Okay, so we're gonna put a little oil on your tire, and then we'll I'll hold the torch to it as you're doing a burnout. Let me see if I can even do this. Ryan, Dude, this Micah is a new Jake. segment we're doing, Dumb Stuff in the Dark with Ryan, Micah, and Jake. That's what we're doing. That's, it's, no it's, one else is invited. No one else. This is it, it's just us. It's Sunday night. And if you're wondering how we have so much energy, yeah. it's because we have drank a ton of bubbly water, mate. Watch this, ready? Oh, oh God. Holy smokers.
Cheers. <laughs> Right in the middle of the driveway, perfect. Oh okay. my gosh. You're back up in the little bit. That was a ton of work. Oh, that's awesome. Supervision is here, run, run, is run, guys, we gotta get out of here. Yo, we've been compromised. Just need to say, the events that take place during Ryan, Micah, and Jake in the dark, we never suggest you to do these things. What, what? neighbors? <laughs> the torch was just ridiculous. Jake's just basically like lighting the back of my bike on fire. Good job, Jake. Oh. We cleaned up Jake's Mustang tonight, and it is looking freaky fresh. But, Jake wanted to add a little bang and touch to the Mustang to make it his own. Oh, dude, that looks amazing, actually. I thought it was gonna look Completely ridiculous, but it doesn't look bad. <laughs> my life, dude. Boys, dude! Oh my god! Bro! Bro! <laughs> yeah! Mikey, you wanna put in the finishing touch? Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys. This is what it this is what it ended up like. Ready? Boo! What's that, baby? Yeah. It's baby. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> We're not done, because it's only like 10.30, and there's more vinyl left, so we gotta use all of it, so we're just thinking of shit to print. So, we're gonna hit you up with the next install. What do you guys think it is? Dick's so predictable. It's gonna be very <laughs> predictable. Push pause and, and guess. Comment down below, actually push pause. Don't fast forward, that's cheating. You guys were right, it's 69, because Jake's a child. <laughs> looks sick. What do you think, Jake? I'm just worried about when I like, pull up to my girlfriend's parents place. <laughs> They're gonna be like, bro. Banging on the hood. Yeah. 69 right on the side. And not to mention, it's just gonna this sound like a jet. Out. Wow. Hey, why is it gonna sound like a jet? Check your speed performance said your car's like not loud enough so that they gave me these bad boys. So we're, they'll be on like at the next video. Wait, which way does it go? I bet, I think that's upside down. <laughs> no, I, I, that I, one's upside down. No, 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 this no, way. no. Mm -hmm. Turn it 90 degrees. There we go. There we go. <laughs> See me around town. Dude. Dude! You heard him? Dude! <laughs> hey, what was your inspiration for this? Uh, I watched, what's that car, Kirby? What are those cars called? Bugs. <laughs> Is it a bug? And he's got the numbers on the side. No, it's Footloose. The guy puts the big No. <laughs> You're totally Jake thinking of Herbie. You were so close. You were on such but a good And then you went to the Footloose? Car. He drives the same car, guys. <laughs> we're done. Another project in the books. Project we put three stickers <laughs> on called a project. Hopefully you guys will see him drive it one some one of these times. Alright, Jake. First off, how's it, how's it feel driving the truck? Well, you never it, drive Yeah, I know, I never do drive this thing. All right, Jake, do it. All right, we're gonna fucking start this beast up. You should have Tommy start it and I should get your reaction. Yeah. That's a mean sound of son of a bitch, man. Is it loud? Um, you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, hop in and start that. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>
loud. Are we gonna be able to drive this home? Texture Speed was not lying when they said these will be the loudest headers you've ever heard. <laughs> we gotta get this back to Cormac, yeah, yeah. bro. So you're gonna hop in, drive off, I'll take the truck back, and then we're gonna surprise the boys with it. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna film you pulling off though. Alright. Oh, this is bad. I mean, it's good, but it's bad. about making the neighbors mad today and maybe every other day but <laughs> holy crap what do we got coming here